Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What? Interdimensional amalgamation. You guys want fancy? Well, let's give them fancy. Hit it, boys. Love a double dry hop. Taste those adjuncts. Love a smooth mouthfeel. Another hazy IPA. Fancy beer, very clear. Fancy beer, very clear. Fancy beer, very clear. Fancy beer, very clear. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to pop out? I'm gonna drink it all. I'm gonna drink all the damn beer. Fancy beer, very clear. Fancy beer, very clear. This is a double IPA by <laughs> Brewing out of Asheville, North Carolina. Made with mashed oats. It is double dry hopped with Citra, Moteca, Vic Secret, and Enigma. Finished with Sabro Cryo hops. Citra, Moteca, uh, and Sabro hops are some of my top favorite hops. Uh, if I had to put them in a top 10, but we're not going to get into that. But it has Moteca in it. And I love the mouthfeel and the overall taste that hop provides the, uh, the profile of the beer. So I know it's got to be good because it has that alone. Heck, that's part of the reason I bought it. Burial. Brewing uh, has a very uh, limited distribution model. So we actually had to go up to Asheville, North Carolina ourselves and get it from their tap room uh, and pick up the beer. But it was most definitely worth it but I really, really wish they had distribution that I could more uh, easily access. With that being said, let's pour this sucker. As you can see, this pour is a lovely opaque yellowish gold in color. I would really wish you could smell this because I could smell it as soon as I opened the can. Amazing smell of uh, a lot of you know the, the amalgamation hops being married beautifully. You get a good sense of the hop profile. It's very complex. You can smell some of the citra, moteca, and you can definitely get uh, some of that, that sabro cryo that's finished at the end of this. Oh, man, the taste is really incredible. Very smooth. It follows the smell and you get all that amalgamation all over again. A sip of this will help your R reign supreme as your audacious thoughts fill a wild array of portentous mysticism and redefine the previously unknown. Or at least that's what it says on the can. This has a, a well above average ABV at 8.5%, but you wouldn't know it with how smooth it is. It goes down very easy. You don't even really detect the alcohol at all. It's as smooth as a well-polished gravestone. Overall, I give this beer a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend uh, picking up a 4-pack at the very least if it's available in your area, or if it's not, 
uh, I highly recommend you go and take a pilgrimage to their brewery and pick you up as much of their beer as you can. It's something you will not regret, I guarantee it. Uh, this beer was only going to be in rotation for so long before it leaves this dimension to satisfy pilots and others. you guys but part of the attraction to be different beers with me is not only what it's made of but what the label art contains itself the label artwork for burial is always very interesting yeah, I think it's like, like a doom metal album cover if rock and roll was your aesthetic I think this would definitely be the beer for you this can art is by David Paul Seymour. I don't know much about him myself but I am excited to look into more of his work as I really love this can art. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate your time. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification button. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. We're also on Reddit. Uh, you can also keep up with me on Untapped at Fancy Beer Perry Clear. And we'll have all that linked in the description below. And uh, stay fancy. Hmm. I wonder. Beer Perry Clear here. Can you believe that Jeff Foxworthy is our president now? Oh, no. Hmm. Cigarette? Cigarette? Is anybody got Hey, Fancy Beer Perry Clear here. <laughs> Shit! Fucking bullshit! No. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you come in. Fancy Beer Perry Clear here. And you just caught me in the middle of writing my memoirs. Oh God! Oh God! Bring it down! Bring it down! Oh God! Thank mm -hmm. you.